Capricorn, hello, <laughs> welcome. This is your weekend reading or whenever you watch this message, it's just for the next few days really. Um, I didn't do a midweek reading this week, sorry about that. It will be a little bit like that over the summer because the kids are off school and we're gonna be doing bits and bobs, traveling about and doing things. So, um, you know, just bear with me. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and come on most days um, where I can to do some kind of video <laughs> and um, you know just to keep just to keep the energy going even if it's not um, necessarily not what I normally do do you know what I mean so I'm going to try and just jump on and do bits and bobs here and there so thanks for subscribing thanks for giving the video a thumbs up because it does help get this small channel out across YouTube <laughs> Uh, let's go into it. Um, hope you're doing all right. Hope you're doing okay. So, Spirit, please show us what's going on for Capricorn for the next few days. You've got the new beginning card. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay, be beautiful energy in that. Uh, new beginnings. Feeling more passionate about life again. The Dark Lady, exploring your shadow and embracing it. This is about loving yourself more. Uh, loving yourself more for who you really are, you know? Not for who you would try to be if you were comparing yourself to other people or who, if you were even just trying to be someone you're not, this is about actually embracing who you really are. And I know that game very well because I didn't embrace myself <laughs> pretty much my whole life. I was not embracing my true self, you know, because that was not my conditioning. My parents did not condition me to love myself exactly the way I was, um, you know. And uh, even as well, as we as we grow and get older, things about us change and then that can challenge our self-love as well and I've gone through that too so you know it's um it's about being authentic and spirit is sort of saying Capricorn you're in this new beginning where you just really start to own who you are and um that is that's a magnetic quality to have when you own who you are you know when you don't really care that's when actually you give off the strongest uh, vibe so we'll go a bit deeper for you. Okay. Nine of Wands, King of Wands, Ten of Swords. So you were going through this battle. I think it was killing you a little bit, Capricorn, um, because I get shown that multiple times. Um, Nine of Wands. Um, you know, it's like, oh my God, I'm being tested so badly by the Matrix. <laughs> and it's like, I can't take much more. I just can't take much more. But um, you've done well because you sort of stuck in there and you have come out the other side. Um, you've come out the other side more than just uh, surviving. You're rocking it. You know, you've got King of Wands energy here. It doesn't matter what gender or sexuality you are you know, you have got King of Wands. That That is, you know, that is slaying it, basically. You, you've been slaying your demons and you've been slaying any challenges the Matrix, Matrix has been putting before you. You've been just slaying them right down. Well done. Now, in some ways, it may involve you taking some kind of perceived risk, but um, in actual fact, risks are just an illusion because everything in the Matrix is, is an illusion anyway. Um, and... Uh, Basically, with this King of Wands energy, the next few days, you're going to notice you're a lot more empowered and you're just not going to allow anything in the Matrix to just tread on you, stamp on you or obstruct you. Um, you know, it's the end of the old timeline. I feel like you're going through this major rebirth um, where it's like, do you know what? Uh, I am not the old identity. Mm -mm. You know, that old identity, that old me was not the real me. And this is where the authenticity comes into it. You know, you're rebirthing yourself and it's like, this is who I am. I'm not comparing myself to anybody else. And this is the way I am. I'm not going to make excuses for it. And I'm not even going to try and hide it anymore. You know, and I love that. I love that because that's what I'm all about. Um, the fool. The great thing is because you're embracing yourself and it's empowering you, you know, it's empowering you. It puts you in a much stronger position 
because you're so authentic um you know you know okay so you may have lost certain things or certain things haven't worked out how you thought so what you know doesn't mean anything uh it really doesn't mean anything because this this whole matrix is an illusion and you've got here the fool somebody right who um is like you and this this person's the same you know they're, they're just ready for their new beginning uh like you are <laughs> new beginning card and it's like well okay let's do this then you know let's do this we, we've both got our own free will and let's do what we can um so it's nice because there's some kind of friend or person in your life Maybe someone new coming into your life even, who's the same as you. And look at the card that they've got. I'm going through an awakening. You know, that, that's the vibe. So great, you know. Someone you could probably have fun with. Somebody you could vibe with. Somebody who gets you. Your spirit guides are saying, wake up, it's your moment. It is. I think this is the moment for uh, Capricorn where things start to get more exciting and fun. So that's the message. Enjoy. Um, if you want a more, you know, uh, detailed one-to-one -one reading for yourself, just contact me. Or if you just want a general session with me, that's that's good too. And then um, thanks for subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. And um, peace. <laughs>